Hey everybody, this is Dr. Nathan over at Body Balance Physical Therapy and, and we're putting together a bunch of videos to be able to help you guys figure out what you can do if we're having more golf related injuries. Um, and so there, there's multiple things. Uh, Dr. Paul had just done a couple of videos on, on thoracic mobility and how important that is. And so if you missed those, I highly encourage you guys to go back and look at those. Because um, what we're going to do is I'm actually going to build off a little bit of what he talked about um, today with what we're going to talk about. So Dr. Paul had talked a lot more about our ability to to move our shoulders. Um, what I'm going to talk to you guys more about today is the ability to be able to move our hips with our swing. Now most people that come and see us with, with injuries related to golf, we're, gonna, we're talking more low back pain. Um, and so a lot of people think that that's where a majority of their problem is when it comes to their golf swing. It's like, man, my back just is moving too much or it's not moving enough or I'm not strong enough there or anything like that. When really I like to look at that as more of the culprit or the victim, excuse me, and not necessarily the culprit of what's going on. So the first thing that Dr. Paula talked about is, is getting that mobility through our shoulders. And if we don't have that, it's going to go into our lower back. Well, the same thing when it comes down to our hips. And so when we're talking about the hips, we're talking a little bit more about what we call the, fem the femur and the acetabulum or the pelvis. And so what happens is, is this is our hip bone right here, and it's actually feeding into what we call our pelvis. And I always tell people, it's kind of like the old song, the knee bone's connected to the hip bone, which is connected to this bone. So what we're looking at is this pelvis is actually pretty much, not necessarily fused, there is a joint there, but whenever our pelvis moves, our lower back is going to move too. Um, we talk about back and forth or side to side. Any time that I move this around, you can see I get a little bit of mobility down in through here. And so we're not going to change that. There's not much that we can do with that. But if we want to help to improve how much this is moving, we want to look a little bit more right here at this hip joint. Because if this is restricted, our body is going to figure out how we want to move. And so it's going to start to compensate through our lower back. And if we look at our swing, especially when we get into our back swing, that when I'm coming back, I'm really loading up on this hip and really forcing a lot of mobility there. But especially as I get in to my follow through, I start to put a lot more stress on, on the other hip. And so we have to make sure that both are actually able to move with more freedom. And a lot of times we can get really stiff in through there, especially if we haven't been moving or even sitting a little bit more. And that can cause a lot more movement up and through our lower back. And so th this all goes back together is that we got to have good mobility through our shoulders. But now we're going to focus a little bit more on the hips and how much that they're going to have to move so that that way we can protect our lower back when we're swinging. And that way we can play more and not have as much issue. And then those last couple of holes, we're not like, oh, man, my back is really starting to kill me because our hips really aren't starting to move. So just wanted to go over the anatomy. And so next what we're going to do is we're going to talk about in another video what type of exercises that you can do um, either before your match, during your match, or in between matches that you can help to loosen up your hips. And then if that's really not helping you any, that's where we want you to come and see us. We want to try to really figure out what's going on with your back so we can make sure that you can get out there and keep playing. So thanks for watching.